Good morning, B and I are ready for some off-road explorations again. Today's route is from our base camp down to Ulagan where we were before. But last time we went up to the lake and today we're going from Ulagan down this road to Yazula. It's about 130 kilometers from here. Mostly off-road and not very touristy. Wish me luck. <laughs> Let's ride! A few kilometers until Ulagan, which is going to be our last point of civilization. So I need to get gasoline and maybe buy some snacks for the road and connect to the internet because I'm completely disconnected where I am. <laughs> we don't even have our electricity. I mean, there is a generator and they turn it on for a few hours in the evening so that we can charge devices and everything. And then there is Wi-Fi, but the speed is so slow that it's just easier not to use it at all. <laughs> it's completely useless. And yeah, this washboard is the most pleasant part of the road ever. <laughs> Sunshine! Let it stay like this for the rest of the day. And here we go. Ulagan. So we're leaving the town of Ulagan and heading towards Yazula. I'm pretty sure we'll have some beautiful views on the way. Those rocks, those rocks! Nice view! Oh wow, and this is just the beginning! It's a pretty awesome beginning, I would say! <laughs> Incredible, beautiful! It's a little bit rocky, luckily not too steep. I'm looking at this very black cloud behind me and I really don't like it. I hope it stays where it is, it doesn't follow me. Because in front of me is very beautiful blue sky. <laughs> I figured out all my episodes in this season are about weather conditions. <laughs> but that's life in Siberia, I guess. And also in the Altai Mountains especially, because the weather is just so unpredictable. For the next days when you check it, check the forecast, it's all <laughs> sun and rain and <laughs> everything possible. So you just take your chance and, and go, and go exploring. And keep the fingers crossed that <laughs> the weather is gonna be on your side. Oh, I'm very sorry for disturbing you guys. You had such a nice place in the shade. Oh, look at this really cool mountain of rocks. So far the whole road is like this. Up and down, up and down. Interesting. Whee! I wonder if there are bears in this area. Or what are the chances of meeting a bear on a road like this? Saratan. I don't even see any houses. Oh, it must be there. It's so interesting for me how people live in a place like this, where there is like no cellular connection, it's so remote. <laughs> Actually, fun fact, <laughs> according to Google, the road ends here. Yes, 
to you. I'm pretty sure it's raining behind me. And I really don't want to see how this road becomes after a heavy rain. My tires don't handle mud very well, so... Whew. I keep hoping this cloud is not gonna get here. Oh look how beautiful. This river is just amazing. I'm not sure I like this cloud though. I've got to keep going. That cloud is moving faster than I expected. So we're 50 kilometers into off-road and that means about 50 kilometers left to get to Yazula. And then of course we'll have to go back as well. <laughs> and look at that black cloud behind me. <laughs> Keeping the fingers crossed. I see the blue skies in front of me. That's enough, right? <laughs> and the road is super sweet. There is like this very special feeling about right road where are no cars, no traffic. So it's starting to rain and as you can see this part of the road can get pretty muddy. So I should really make a decision now. Should I continue? another 40 kilometers or should I turn around and go back now the thing is like if I go back now I'm definitely facing all the rain if I continue then I might be able to wait the rain over in Yazula muddy and slippery What should I do? Well, I'm definitely putting on the waterproofs. That's the first step. And maybe wait 10 minutes and see if it gets much worse or not. Uh-oh. Look at this beautiful flower. And then these purple ones. Beautiful. So the rain was not very heavy. I've been waiting for about 20 minutes and looks like the rain cloud has passed. The sky is clearing up and I'll try to continue. I'll be going super slowly. But I'll try to advance. I just hope there will be no major elevation gain or drop. Oh, this looks quite slippery. All right. The sun is trying to come out. I hope it dries the road for me because this is not doable. Oh my God, B. This is not very smart. So I don't know if I should stop and wait a little bit more, hoping it will dry a little bit, or I should just turn around and go back. Because 40 kilometers with this speed is gonna take me three hours. And it's just not much fun. Oh, I'm so happy for this kind of more rocky parts. Look, the name of the river is Stream. <laughs> Come on, sunshine, please dry this road. Dry, rocky part. Whew. And I can see we're climbing up. Wow.
over 2000 meters already and it got significantly colder so I decided to give it half an hour and see how far I can get and then take the decision because the latest I should be heading back should be 5 p.m. giving myself four hours to come back this must be the top Okay, so from here is the downhill and I'm slightly concerned how the downhill is going to be If it was dry I wouldn't be worried but Look at this beauty Wow, I'm very happy this part is not slippery, so sweet with the sunshine, I've only got like 7 kilometers left and it's 20 to 5 so we might be able to do it, look how beautiful, now is the real downhill and some parts are quite technical I would say because it's steep, rocky and muddy at the same time you have to really be choosing the path very carefully thinking that my suspension is not made for the rocks and my tires are not made for the mud <laughs> what am I doing here? B I'm sorry <laughs> this is crazy steep uh, do I want to do it? Maybe it's not too bad, it's just steep. Okay. Very nice little switchback road. nice and little being exaggerations of course or sarcasm oh wow wow oh this is steep and rocky You have no idea how steep it is. B knows. But only three kilometers left. You see that village on the other side? That one? That's the end point. Or we might not even go to the village. Maybe we just turn around at the bridge. A bridge over the canyon on the other side. I have no idea how I'm gonna be going up this It's like you need quite a bit of a momentum to go up But with the rocks and the mud once in a while It can be a bit tricky Here we go We made it to the bridge Yeah, baby I think we deserve a photo here <laughs> on the bridge and we just came down from that mountain and you know what this is the same river 
and the same canyon where we were two days ago. It's time to head back. Oh my god. I'm a little bit scared to be honest. B, we gotta do it somehow. Just look at this elevation gain. Wish us luck. All right, let's go. It's gonna be visible on the video how steep this is. I think I'm done with the worst part of the uphill already. Now I'm just keeping the fingers crossed that there will be no rain. Because I hope the road has dried a little bit with the sunshine. Another small stream and the river again. So cool. And so pretty. Здравствуйте. Коня не видать. Не, не было вообще. Потерялись? Ну я от моста еду, с моста не было нигде. Looking for horses. Look at these super cute purple flowers along the road. Wow. I had to stop to take a closer look. So cool. And another super beautiful place with this river. And this road next to it. Oh, wow. And we're close to 2,000 meters again. It's time to face the downhill. And I hope to complete it before it starts raining again. That cloud doesn't look very attractive to me. Such a cool place though. Look at all these rocks. Big, big rocks. It's starting to rain and I'm just in the beginning of the downhill. It might get very slippery with the rain. Well, let's try to cover a little bit more distance before it gets too wet and too muddy. At least this part is more rocky. Maybe I should stop and put on the waterproofs. Alright. And it's looking pretty wet. Let's keep going. Or try at least. Once you get to some kind of more sheltered place, because here it's quite windy as well. So maybe some kind of trees or something. This is very, very, very slippery. Stopped here in between the trees. The rain has slowed down already. Like I really couldn't continue, it was a bit too heavy. But now it has slowed down and I think I'll try to continue. Oh, look! Sun is coming through. Weather today is insane. <laughs> but well, now it's sunny. <laughs> today is a true fairy tale. Yazula! We've been there! We're on the way back. Almost there! Right B! We've done the worst. 
Oh, this river. Oh. And the golden hour. My little Altai fairy tale. Look at the super clean water and the freshest green and the sunset. Just listen to the silence. So much in love with this place. Look at these cool kids. <laughs> <laughs> cool kids. And once again, a big, big smile on my face. This has been an amazing day. I only have like half an hour left to Ulagan and then 30 kilometers to the base camp. Woo! <laughs> Look, that's Ulagan. It's obviously raining there. But here, that's like apocalypses. And obviously, it's this exact apocalypses that we hit on our 30 kilometers ride back to the base camp. Having a chimney in the mountains is absolutely priceless and being able to heat up the cabin up to, I don't know, 40 degrees and feel warm and dry and absolutely happy. <laughs>